Japan is aging. I mean, really aging. Although many other developed countries have the same problem nowadays, Japan has been standing out, the most aging nation in the world. But it's actually not surprising to see that. It's totally expected and inevitable in this kind of country. Anyway, in the near future, the elderly will be much more common to see, and here's what may happen in the result. First of all, a huge labor shortage in the elderly care industry, meaning many people leave their job to take care of their old parents. Rapid increase of medical care expenses and increasing taxes a lot. Fewer and fewer people work, and in the end, Japan's economy will be shrinking a lot. Especially in rural areas like this, as more and more young people moving to the city. So you can already see many abandoned houses and elderly people who are isolated from the society. Which means this may be much more common to see in the future. But here is what worries me even more. Every time I bring up this issue, many people just look the other way and say, Shogunai. What I call the Shogunai Syndrome. Shogunai Syndrome, it, it's, it's rooted from the concept of Shikataganai or Shogunai, which is basically, it can't be helped. That's, that's what that means. You, you say, oh, well, this is a problem. Ah, Shogunai. I, I remember talking with a couple of friends about the aging problem. Like, what do you think Japan should do in like 50 years when over half the population is going to be too old to work and probably too old to take care of themselves? And a lot of the answers that I got back was Shogunai. Anyway, when it comes to the solutions, these are really common to hear. Master robotics uh, in, in terms of artificial intelligence. And I think Japan can do it. The interest is there, the money is there to invest in it. I think that's, that's a possibility. Or there needs to be a lot more foreigners coming in. A lot more. Not only blue collar labor, such as construction and things like that, but also like white shirts work, office work, things like that. Of course, these might work, but today, let me share other solutions that might be even more effective for Japan. So let's get into that. Masako Wakamiya is just 82 years old, and she's from Japan, and she published her first app earlier this year. So if you haven't published yet, there is still time. Let's give them a big round of applause. So currently, she's 85. That's right, just 85 years old. Still quite young, right? Today, I am going to tell you I am an ICT evangelist. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. She got her personal computer for the first time at around 60, when she was about to retire from a bank and start looking after her old parent. She felt a little bit isolated and wanted to interact with people. Once she started to use it, she found it really fun. お料理のフォーラムとか、学校のフォーラムとか、海外旅行のフォーラムとか、いろいろあって、以前半分銀行にいたわけですから、18から60ぐらいまで銀行にいたわけです。優しい方の常識感爆破してて、問題にしてたら
、うん、でなんでその勇気とか決断がいるんだかちょっとも今もわかんないですもう年だから何にもできないっていうのがちょっと悲しいそう、so、I asked her solutions for Japan's aging program and she suggests us these two やっぱりね、自分で自分のことできることはやっていかなければいけないと思うんですね。だってもう少子高齢化でこれからはそんなに構っても人に構ってもらうっていうのは難しくなってくるわけですよ。今求められてる自分たちに今求められてるものは何かっていうこともやっぱり大事かなと思うんですよね。I totally agree and encouraging them to be active and challenging to try new things is also important. Even things or society tells us it's only for young people. Elderly people should not hesitate to do those things, so I believe they can still shine. あの若宮さんおっしゃった80を過ぎてもまだ成長できるっていうのは私自分でそう思います。周りの人も言うんですよね、まー、あ、ちゃん、この頃知能指数が上がったんじゃないって。でね、私の周りにもね、やっぱりそういうのをやりながらね、成長する。成長する人って何人か見ましたそれは私だけの問題ではなくてその気になるとまだ成長できるんですよねで別にプログラミングしようとかコンピューターやるっていうことじゃなくてやろう若い頃からフランス語がやりたかったのを結局やることにしたとかでもいいんですよフランス語でも何でもあのやってくれればできると思わないから思うことが第一歩だと思うんですよ私はもうダメよって諦めちゃうんじゃなくて。昔の60と今の60と違うわけですよね、うん。やっと折り返しても折り返したぐらいのところで、今からご隠居されちゃ困るわけで、やっぱりもう時代に即して変わっていかなきゃいけない。実際、あのワークショップとか講習会とか、すごく積極的にされてますよね。私が行くと、ものすごい反響があるんです。もう自分たちは諦めてたけど、そういう話聞いたら、やる気が起きたと。差し当たってはとにかくデジタルアレルギーを直してほしいみたいな一人も残さないデジタル化じゃないですけど、まあ、そうなんです今までみたいに民生委員の人が一軒一軒やるよりもより手厚いサポートができるんじゃないかっていうんです私そういうようなものに自分の立場でできることを自分のすぐそばの人たちっていうか日本のため日本国のためにあの死ぬまでに何か一つや,やっていくとしたら。それをやり遂げることがミッションかなと思ってます。あの、そしてあの自分のお,お父さんお母さんとか長男の人を助けてあげたいあげてほしいんですよね。孫の写真、孫の運動会の写真とか、あのねビデオなんかも読めいいし、から志保さんの写真とかどんどん送ってあげればいいんですよ。そうすると。<笑>交流が生まれるそうすると張り合いがあるんですよインターネットっていうのは人と人との間を取り持つものですからそれを実感できるようなものを若い人に手伝ってもらうっていうのがこれから大事かなと Now we should also talk about the care workers because this is really concerning issue Even if more elderly people become independent and robots or technology will develop many still need help But despite of the demand many people in the industry Maybe not treat it so well. That's exactly why this should be really crucial as much as supporting elderly people. But first, we should get to know how they actually feel about their job and what are their difficulties. I work as a caregiver for the elderly with dementia, and I am also a photographic model for the free images website called Pactaso. I started working as a caregiver because. There were so many opportunities in my city to work as a caregiver, and of course, I liked being around elderly people since I was a child. Yeah, I, I love my grandmother, so it's like talking to my own grandmother, grandfather. Since we are all human, like,、um, not everybody has a nice personality, not every elderly are very nice, but I respect the elderly and I like. Their lives, and I like spending time with them.
I am from the Philippines and I am a registered nurse by profession but now I am currently working as a caregiver here in Okayama, Japan. The things I like about my work is the elderly people. Older people have a lot to share, may have many stories and good advices to share and that's interesting for me. Before going to Japan, they said that Japanese are cold-hearted but once you interact with them, they are not that cold-hearted. Japanese are sweet and very kind. They are shy. Mostly they are shy, but they are not cold-hearted for me. It is ideal to be healthy forever and die with no pain, but um, we all have risk of um, illness, injury, and isolation as we grow older. So I want to work hard to support the elderly and um, keep focusing on what I can do for the super age society. I guess most people think that it is tough to uh, assisting elderly people, diaper changing, things like that. But um, I find the most difficult part of this job is to communicate. It is hard to accept that the most basic daily movements uh, becomes like the hardest day to day. As long as possible, we all want to walk, eat and um, bath, go to the toilet by ourselves. But um, even if we need some help, we don't want to be um, humiliated or embarrassed. The hard thing is that we have to uh, make sure that we understand their previous lifestyles and thoughts and feelings and build a good relationship between them so that we don't hurt their feelings during any care. It's not very physically tough, but more like yes, men mentally. Yes, mentally it's difficult. There are some problems, and I have also experienced this in my own life. I have always said that I have to say that I have to say that I have to say that まあ、それはさすがに無理なので私も最初の頃はもう仲の良かったおばあちゃんとかが亡くなってしまった時なんかはもうご家族の方と一緒に涙流してしまったりとか、はい、そういうこともありましたね。The most difficult part, I think, is the language barrier because most of the elderly or most of the Japanese they don't speak English. You need to study the language first. If you have the ability but you don't know how to speak the, the language, you can't work. About the patient or about the elderly, it's difficult to communicate sometimes. For example, uh, Okayama-ben, Osaka-ben, they have strong accent. And also uh, sometimes the elderly people, like they have stroke, sometimes they don't speak very well. So that is one of the most difficult. 私の母親が20年ぐらい介護業界でずっと勤めておりまして学生時代からあの家でずっとよく職場の愚痴を申しておりましてあそんなに大変な業界なんだなとでいろいろ業界の方々と接するうちにあのかなりストレスが皆さん溜まってらっしゃるなというのを感じてあの情報配信 YouTube の動画とかあの SNS で何かしらでお役に立てたらなというきっかけであのスタートをさせていただきました。あと、LINE や電話で個別でいろんなご相談に乗らせていただいておりまして、まあ、そういったところでストレスケア、メンタルケアと、あの、介護業界でせっかく今働いてくれてる人たちを引き続き業界にいていただくということをやっていきたいなと。まあ、いろいろなその現場の方々とお話されてきたんですけど、はい、特にどういったところを難しいと感じてるのかなそうですね。あの、よく 3K と。言われたりしますけどもあの汚いきつい危険というところでやっぱり非常にシフトが人手不足というところでこんだけ長時間労働しなきゃいけないのと何も、えー、設備買ってもらえないなんできついというようなご職場もやっぱり一部ではあるかなというところですね。あのしっかり運営されてらっしゃるところはご利用者さん入居者さんも楽しく生活されてらっしゃいますしあのそんなに収入が高いわけではないですけども安定した生活を送れるぐらいのお給料はもらえると。It is said that this job doesn't pay much, 
but um, I think it depends where you work. Some companies are putting effort into solving this problem. For the people who are really um, exhausted, I suggest them to find a better workplace because since there are many opportunities where to work as a caregiver in Japan, I suggest them to keep finding the best place. この業界全体が全て脳からスタートするっていうのが、うん、あの何かやろうとすると怪我するかもしれないとか、うん、その時間がかかるだとか、うん、お金がかかるだとか、まあ、もしくはもう本当に言い訳からしかスタートしないっていう介護保険制度に守られてるあの業界だけに全て与えられたものに対して、うん、提供すれば、えー、お金も入ってくるっていう皆さんの感覚自体も受け身になってるだから新しいものを何か作り出そうっていう人たちが本当にいないんですね本当に楽しいですよ介護ってむちゃむちゃ楽しいなんでそんな嫌なとこばっかり見つけるんかなってみんなだから自分の周りにはその言葉が発しない環境を作ろうかなと思ってじゃあじいちゃんばあちゃんたちにとお寿司を食べていただこうって言うんだったらじゃあスタッフにもねなんかそういう楽しいことをねどんどんどんどん想像していく中で働いてる環境の中ではほとんど愚痴は出なくなった。レイマション、especially in this industry, I think. What do you think about the solutions? Not only this type of job has a high rate of turnover. Um, like every workplace,、um, I think bad relationships between co workers lead s to、um, turnover problems. Of course, there are many different、um, problems as well, like、uh, violence against caregivers or low incomes,、um, too much overtime work. I think the solution is that the company should invest more in personnel training. And take good care of their employees. Yet at the same time, the、um, employees must take good care of their patients and colleagues. Both sides should、um, be equal and、um, h a s to work together to solve turnover problems. 人間対人間なので、どうしてもそこに摩擦が生じますので、まあ、それに対しての精神的な負荷があってあの、それはスタッフ対スタッフでもありますし、スタッフ対患者さん、スタッフ対利用者さんというような負担としては大きいのかなとは、どんな,どんな方でも飛び込める世界の,あの仕事の一つかなと思うので、あとはそこから受け入れる側の方が、初めての方たちをマネジメントしていくかっていうことが大事になってくるのかなと思いますね。I think the solution would be to accept more workers from other c o u n t r i e like the Southeast Asian c o u n t r y That's actually what our government is already trying to do right now. But the question is, is Japan really good for them? 今の状況のままだと本当に若い子たちが入ってこないから人手不足だからだから呼んでるにしか見えないしそこにしかならないんじゃないかなとは感じてますね受け入れる側がしっかりと考えているところが何社あるんだろうかなって今のまんまだったら外国人がかわいそうじゃないかなって感じるところはありますね。He's actually right. This has been already happening in many other industries. So I don't think Japan is ready for accepting foreign workers in the first place. I wanna suggest before taking any foreign workers in this country, improving the work environment would be the first priority. I think it's good to have like,、um, many opportunities for the foreigners as well to work in Japan. But if the Japan governors rely too much on the foreigners, I think it's Not good because I think there are so many、uh, Japanese caregivers who work really, really hard. So we should、um, think about them first and then maybe, yes,、um, rely on foreign workers. 一つ期待され、まあ、あのまずはあの待遇という部分が向上していくと。いうところなんですが生産性向上っていうところで、まあ、IT とか AI とかいうものの力を使いながら働きやすい職場を作っていくというところは今後10年20年で期待されるところかなと。So here you have it. These can be the solutions in addition to these. Now I wanna hear from you. What do you think are the solutions for Japan? Let me know that in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.